Today we're taking a look at the Charlotte Hornets vs. Los Angeles Clippers match, which is happening on Saturday, March 20, 2021 at 10.05 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. NBA Madness Saturday night at the Staples Center features the Charlotte Hornets from the Eastern Conference visiting the Los Angeles Clippers of the Western Conference. Charlotte is sitting currently in 7th in the East standings while Denver sits the 5th spot in the West. Last time out for the Hornets on Thursday they lost by 11 points to the Lakers on the same floor they will face the Clippers. Last time out for the Clippers they lost to Dallas on the road 105-89 on St. Patrick's Day. Charlotte is against the spread on the road over their last 20 games, and Los Angeles is 10 to 9 at home against the spread over their last 19 games at home. The line for this game has the Clippers as a heavy favorite at home with a total for this game at 232 points. According to ESPN's Basketball Power Index the Clippers have a 69.4% chance to win the game over the Hornets. Win or lose on Saturday, Hornets fans have to be loving the direction their team is headed. LaMelo Ball is clearly the rookie of the year, and Gordon Hayward is once again averaging 20-plus points. And did I mention scary Terry Rozier? He has seemingly exploded out of nowhere as the team's leading scorer. Charlotte is building something. Granted, the team is coming off back-to-back -back losses to a pair of Western Conference contenders in the Denver Nuggets and Los Angeles Lakers. They could be staring at a third straight loss with the Clippers next on the itinerary. But the team is still seated 6th right now in the Eastern Conference with a 20-20 record. We'll see if they can get above .500 win percentage when standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the slumping Clippers. One thing is certain, they'll need a lot of buckets. The Clippers are clearly playing in a fog right now, but they still have the super team up of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. That's going to be a problem for a young Hornets team that ranks 22nd in the league in defensive efficiency and they won't have big man Cody Zeller at center. They could certainly use a shower of three-pointers from beyond the arc to put the Clippers on the ropes. I'm no meteorologist, but I'd say the odds are looking good with the Hornets averaging a 7th best 38.4% shooting from three-pointer. Bring an umbrella. The expectations could not be any higher for the Los Angeles Clippers coming off a disappointing playoff campaign a season ago. As of late the Clippers have found a brief ride on the struggle bus, over their last 13 games losing 8 of those contests. Over the Clippers' last 10 games they are 4-6 averaging 112 points per game while letting opponents score 112 points per game on 49.6% shooting. The latest disappointing effort came in Wednesday's 105-89 road loss to the Dallas Mavericks, the 89 points total was Los Angeles' second lowest scored game of the season. The Clippers were 9 for 32 from behind the arc against the Mavericks and 6 for 11 from the strike. Paul George is averaging 17.9 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 4.2 assists over his last 10 games. Kawhi Leonard currently ranks 10th in the NBA for scoring at 26.2 points per game. Leonard is shooting 51.2% from the floor. Serge Ibaka could be available soon for the Clippers, but Patrick Beverly is out Saturday with a knee injury. The Charlotte Hornets look for a win after winning five of their last eight games. The Charlotte Hornets are averaging 112.4 points on 46.4% shooting and allowing 113.2 points on 47.4% shooting. Terry Rozier is averaging 20.4 points and 3.2 assists, while Gordon Hayward is averaging 20.4 points and 5.5 rebounds. LaMelo Ball is the third double-digit scorer and Devonta Graham is dishing 5.3 assists. The Charlotte Hornets are shooting 38.4% from beyond the arc and 77.5% from the free throw line. The Charlotte Hornets are allowing 37.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44 rebounds per game. The Los Angeles Clippers need a win after losing 6 of their last 9 games. 
the Los Angeles Clippers are averaging 114.5 points on 48.2% shooting and allowing 109.6 points on 47.2% shooting. Kawhi Leonard is averaging 26.2 points and 6.4 rebounds while Paul George is averaging 23.1 points and 6.1 rebounds. Lou Williams is the third double-digit scorer and Marcus Morris Sr. is grabbing 3.8 rebounds. The Los Angeles Clippers are shooting 41.5% from beyond the arc and 83.9% from the free throw line. The Los Angeles Clippers are allowing 36.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.1 rebounds per game. The Hornets are 5-0 ATS in their last five Saturday games and 4-1 ATS in their last five games, playing on one day's rest. The Clippers are 5-2 ATS in their last seven home games and 2-5 ATS in their last seven games overall. The under is 4-1 in Hornets' last five overall. The over is 11-5-1 in Clippers' last 17 home games. The Hornets are 3-7 ATS in the last 10 meetings in Los Angeles and 6-14 ATS in the last 20 meetings. The Charlotte Hornets are playing some of their best ball of the season right now, and they're a competitive bunch that loses on the road by an average of just 3.3 points and in the underdog role by an average of just 2.7 points. The Hornets are 2-1 against the spread as a double-digit underdog. The Los Angeles Clippers are easily the more talented team here, but they're a tough team to figure up due to their inconsistent roster, and they're allowing 50.6% shooting from the field in their last five games. This is too much respect toward the Clippers. Give me the Hornets and the points. My first betting advice for you is to pick over 232. Looking at the betting trends, the Hornets are 0-4 ATS in their last four games against a team with a winning record and 1-4 ATS in their last five games as an underdog. The Clippers are 5-2 ATS in their last seven home games, 4-1 ATS in their last five games as a home favorite and 2-5 ATS in their last seven games overall. Head to head, the Hornets are 3-7 ATS in the last 10 meetings in Los Angeles and the Hornets are 6-14 ATS in the last 20 meetings overall. The Clippers haven't been anywhere near their best lately and they will again be short-handed as they will be without Serge Ibaka and Patrick Beverly. So this looks like a great opportunity for the improving Hornets to steal a game here. I wouldn't be surprised if the Clippers snap out of their funk with a win here but this just seems like too many free points to be giving this Hornets team in this form. My second betting advice for you is to pick Charlotte plus 9.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.